Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Myra thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Myra gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Myra taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Myra saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held up his fingers in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Myra asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam! Pow! The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Myra asked. I'm an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Myra a brush. Then come on. Myra dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Myra added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Myra's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Myra put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Myra handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in, babies too. Myra and the man handed out brush after brush, color spread throughout the streets. So did Joy. Wherever Myra and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine. And everyone danced together they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their colors were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Myra added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. The End